Krasatnev certainly has been approved. And what I know is that we're quite excited about the therapeutic responses to Krasatnev. We played a, a very important role in the context of the phase one and two uh, clinical trials for Krasatnev themselves. However, now what we're seeing are uh, potentially patients who have failed crizotinib, that is they responded for a while, but then they progress from crizotinib. There's still a large subset of patients who continue with crizotinib and we're quite excited about that. We're concerned about the fact that patients who progress from crizotinib as to what to do. So there are new therapeutic plans in development, especially in the context of small molecule inhibitors from companies such as Ariad or companies such as Astana or even HSP90 inhibitors from companies such as uh, Senta Pharmaceuticals and so forth that are trying to test out uh, these various compounds against crizotinib resistant patients. But it's also interesting to note that uh, sometimes we do have crizotinib patients who actually develop brain metastases or relapse in the brain. And crizotinib does not necessarily cross the blood-brain barrier as much as needed for therapeutic efficacy into the brain. So there are other compounds being developed that can potentially cross the blood-brain barrier as well.